And then moving on, we have the turn time. 17 seconds as indicated here, but if I'll be honest, the one this thing is a big fat lie. I'm pretty sure this doesn't take 17 seconds for one full circle. More like 2 seconds. And the main thing is that what I like to do is whenever someone guys tries to dive down on me, I can just move out of the way pretty easily. There are people who try to stall climb me just to try to shoot me down like well no could you run do that. And as soon as they stall out and just before they could recover, before they realize, I am already on the tail saying Omae Hey guys, it's Jim here, and welcome back to War Thunder. I've always been playing Grona B, you know, as many tanks. I don't exactly feature a aircraft vehicle unless it's, again, Grona B, you know, like bombers, closer support aircraft. I never actually played Air Realistic, but to be honest though, every now and then I do pop into Air Realistic battles just to grind a little bit of aircraft off camera. Then I thought, eh, why not just make a video about one of the vehicles? But what better play to Start us off with the one plane that I dread seeing the most. This is the A6M2 Mod 11, or also known as a, known as a, also known as a Zero Fighter. Now let me break it down to you and you'll see why I fear this thing above everything else. Now first things first, the flight characteristics. What, you think I'm gonna say armor? I mean like, this is a plane, What's, what, what, what armor protection is, does this thing have? Now for the max speed, 510km an hour, that's actually not too bad. It's actually kinda of fast, but this is only achievable if you dive. But just be careful about one thing though, there may be planes that can dive faster than you. So keep that in mind when you're playing this thing, especially when you're high altitude. And not to mention, um, you're not exactly an energy fighter. So if you try to do a boom and zoom tactic, you can just that be a bit careful as the enemy plane might just outrun you. And then moving on, we have the turn time, 17 seconds as indicated here, but if I'll be honest though, this thing is a big fat lie. I'm pretty sure this doesn't take 17 seconds for one full circle. More like 2 seconds. And the main thing is that what I like to do is whenever someone guys tries to dive down on me, I can just move out of the way pretty easily. And uh, there are people who try to stall climb me just to try to shoot me down like well no could you run to do that. And as soon as they stall out and just before they could recover, before they realize, I'm already on the tail saying Omae wa mo shinderu. This is why it's actually pretty scary though. The turn time on this thing is just ridiculous. Now I'm not exactly sure how to read the rate of climb here but my personal experience is that it does climb pretty well. Mainly due to the fact that this is actually a pretty light aircraft. So climbing is not really an issue for this thing. Just be a bit careful that the speed may not like high altitude to a little too much. There are situations where I'm a little too high for my own good. Enemy planes are too low. And me diving down, I have to bleed up my speed before that can happen. So yeah, all these characteristics in, it does have an extremely good turn time, it can get to a high altitude. This is why I'm actually afraid of this thing, because before it can get to high altitude, there is a very good chance that the A6M2 is already there. So, that's why I'm actually afraid of this thing. And not to mention, you can basically outturn everybody in this thing. So much so that the question after that is, with this, with how this thing flies, can you actually get your guns on target? Now just to be careful about one thing though, as I mentioned, this is a very light aircraft, so that means this is actually quite paper. So there's a good chance that if you get set on fire, be it your fuel, your engine, there is a good chance that you're going down. Like, there's, there's no recovering that. Now moving on, we're looking at the armaments of this thing. You have two of this, 7.7 .7 machine guns, 618 rounds per gun, that's not too bad. The only issue is that uh, your belt is not the most golden thing ever. As you can see, you only have one tracer bullet, one AP, one II, followed by another AP. So it's basically tracer AP, II, AP, tracer AP, II, AP. And why is this a problem? Is the fact that these machine guns don't really hit hard at all. Does it help either that armor piercing rounds, they don't really do anything, they just make holes in the plane, and the immediate action incendiary bullets are just too small to do anything. But that's not the main environment of this thing. This is. This is the 30mm Type 99 Model 1 cannon. And these things are actually pretty devastating. This is the belt I'll be using. High explosive fragmentation, tracer shell, high explosive fragmentation, and then armor piercing. I don't really care too much about the armor piercing, but 
the fact that you fire way more high explosive than that is already scary enough. So yeah, every shot burst is just a lot of explosive rounds going on. Now you may want to consider tracer rounds if you like. I'm not going to stop you from there from doing that. Just that for me personally, I don't really have any luck with the tracer belt for some reason. I suspect it's because of the tracer type round. But if you want to run with this thing, I'm not going to stop you, be my guess. Unfortunately though, the other aspects of the gun is what makes it a challenge a bit. The fact that you only have 60 rounds per 20mm. So that means you have to either sh extremely short burst it or single tap it. So yeah, you do run out of ammo pretty quickly if you don't have strict trigger discipline in this thing. And not to mention your 20mm don't exactly have the same velocity as the 7.7s. So you might want to actually aim a little bit more ahead or get in a little bit closer to your enemy to make sure they actually hit, make your rounds count. So yeah, as you can see, and probably you'll see in the video as well, like this thing is just ridiculous. You turn well, you climb well, you can actually hit extremely hard with these 20mm. That's why I actually fear this thing above everything else. Even the Soviet fighters. So you want my advice to take out this thing? That's actually a pretty easy method that a lot of players don't consider. Maybe that's why this thing got up tiered. It's the fact that all you have to do is keep your altitude and maintain your energy. That's it. Because as I mentioned earlier on, even though it's fast, you only reach this speed when it's diving. And why? This thing doesn't like to retain its speed, even if you fly level. So all you have to do is uh, make sure that you're faster than this thing. And please, for the love of God, you'll see this happening in this video as well. Don't try to turn fight this thing. <laughs> Just don't. Yeah, this guy's going after ground targets. Are you too early for that, guys? Oh, I'm trying to G22, I'm coming.
Oh, look. Oh, look. Candy. Don't mess with me, bro. Don't say this. What are you doing, bro? You're slowly losing me. You're slowly leaving me in the dust of heaven. Catch the guy, just don't. Are you gonna climb my pretty? You just got robbed. <laughs>
anything to you. I guess. I think that's a yes. Do it, bro. 